All right. So this one's for all the moon boys in the chat, the moon boys and the moon girls. Uh, we looked at Mongoose on the stream as a joke, and apparently it's going to the moon. So we were somewhere down here at three. I'm going to try my best to explain this, but you guys can see that when I read out a price, it's not exactly easy because it's just five, like it's five, seven. So it's not really going anywhere. Um, but clearly this is the meme coin from the senator. Uh, you're right on the 382. So you could even see a giant pullback all the way back down to three. Again, this is all three, but I'm talking about this three. So um, if somebody has a better way of looking at this, then let me know. That would be awesome. Um, if it doesn't bounce at this price level, then there's nowhere else for it to go but back down here to two. And if this two doesn't hold, it's going back to zero. Um, with that said, if in fact it does hold at this 618, you can see that there's more fibs up here at 11, 16, 21. So it looks like the further up we get, the more chartable it gets. Because uh, you can see like you have 11 and 16, whereas here it's just three, you know, it's six all the way in this huge range. So um, I would definitely keep an eye out on a pull all the way down to three. Not saying it's going to happen because then you'd have to start drawing micro fibs. And you can see here, you're right on the 618 right now. So this is why something like this isn't exactly easy to chart. But we're just going to give it a shot. So you're right on the 618 right now at 5. So technically a move like this is still valid. Same concept, 786 at 4. So if there's no bounce at this 4, then I would have no other option but to say it's coming back down to 3. So um, that's pretty much it. I know it sounds stupid saying it at face value, like up oh, 3, 4, 2. But these moves, there there's definitely a huge percentage move between these two prices. Um, so in all in all, if it falls below two, the shit's going back to zero and whoever got in and back here made a killing. So that's pretty much it. Best of luck as always. None of this is financial advice and you always have to do what's best for you.